Okay, guys, let's jump right into it. You guys do your own Google search, but you see the U.S. government military has banned the use of DJI products because of they do not recognize privacy, guys. They, they, they're stealing data. They're, they're taking data. They're using it. Um, and you can do your own links, and you'll see that everywhere, all the way down the board, the DJI, um, see defense, defense1.com, everyone, is showing how DJI drones immediately because of cyber um, issues with this thing. It's terrible. They give away your location. Um, they're sharing your data. There's access points. There's, there's just so much going on with this thing that it's nasty. Army issue ban on U.S. DJI drone maker over cyber uh, risk. See that? WashingtonPost.com. It's just one after another. U.S. Army abruptly stops using DJI drone to cyber vulnerabilities. Now, I want to, we'll jump, that's a negative right there, guys. Right there should tell you that why you shouldn't use this product. But I know you guys, have some of you invested in it, and some of you just are, are uh, you, you, don't, you don't understand your risk that you're taking. Now, here's a phone call from um, Parrot that was on the phone with him. This shows the coverage, that you're covered if it does a fly-off for one year, whereas you guys, is Parrot, where you guys pay an extra $100 to, uh, to DGI Care Refresh. And I'll give you two replacements, not necessarily a new one, but a uh, one that's similar or, you know, units and cover skis. Let's see right about for small um, for a small additional charge. Well, they consider that small, $100. I don't know about you, but $100 is not small. But product, they shouldn't do anything. They should be free. As you can see, this is going to be free from, from um, Parrot. DJI Care Refresh offers up to two replacement units in new or like new condition. So they give you used units, units guys. You, you don't necessarily get a new one. Um, now we'll get away from that. The uh, Back to this one. So Parrot, on the other hand, is going to give it to you for part of the one year. And here it is. The guy's going to listen to it, uh, the recording. It's about one minute long. It's up to date. The, the Sky Controller is up. All right, so you have to have everything up to date just like, like it would make sense because they're going to get the logs. You have to be flying in a place that's legal. Um, here we go. And, you know, without interference, like not by military bases, the guy mentions. To date, which is mandatory before starting. And you were flying in an area that, like, a normal area, an area you can fly in. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just making sure that do not, like, uh, fly in an area that has, like, a lot of interference or, like, near to, like, an aircraft or, like, a military base. This would affect the drone itself, the interference. So this is something that might not be covered. But if you're flying in a park and all of a sudden you lost connection, you're up to date, everything was fine, the battery was fully charged, this is something that would be, that would be covered by ourselves as long as you're still within the 12 months water. So right there, it's going to be covered by them. Up to date, guys, that's the question, right? You cannot fly this without having it being up to date. The, the drone, if it's if once you connect, um, the sky controller and all that, if it needs an update, it will not fly until you update. So you're always going to have your, that's not going to be an issue. As far as you flying where you don't belong, yeah, you need to make sure you don't fly any drone where you don't belong. Um, the interference could be, you know, they, they could shut you down, shut the drone down because you weren't supposed to be, you weren't supposed to be there, like a military base, for example. Now, can you extend, now the other thing, can you extend that warranty? Or can the warranty be extended? All right, so the warranty cannot be extended. You get one year. Uh, the warranty is like 12 months standard by parity. It cannot be extended unless if you're like paying extra with one of the retailers because we don't take money for like extended what? Uh, so a retailer that might have an extra extended warranty, guys. That, that might work for you. It's just like the standard warranty of the United States, which is United States and North America, uh, 12 months. <laughs> and it's six months for parts, so he's going to say it now, I think. Um, the, uh, um, how, how, did, how would you report it? You would, it, it? This didn't disappear, but how would you report it? You would, um, then you would automatically be sent the files, and, and that was how was that? So how would you report is the question. It would, it's on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the app that you do activate, um, and you share your data. Not your, not your email contacts and all of those stuff. This is just the flight data. It's restricted to DJI having that information, not public as far as public to uh, to uh, everyone. So it's DJ. I mean, I'm sorry, just to Parrot having it, that that data, not like DJI where where they say they can just go anywhere they want with those with your flight data, etc. This is just for that evaluation. 
um, and you can send those reports in manually. As as I'm looking at the app, but they doc he, he I was looking at it. It looks like the, the uh, that flight that I had a problem with. I had a problem with it. It's actually documented there, even though I didn't send it. So I could still send that, sign up to this group, which I will. And I'm going to send them that flight and see if they can do an evaluation. But ultimately, the airport was about a quarter mile behind me. I could have been getting bad signal from that. Also, um, um, the uh, I'm not sure if it lost signal now because he says as long as GPS is connected, it thinks it's connected. So maybe I didn't lose GPS. Remember, this has two ways to connect, guys, your cell phone and also the controller. So perhaps um, perhaps that was user error on my part. Perhaps I was still connected. Nevertheless, I'm sending them the, uh, the uh, report and see if they can come up with that it was connected or not. So I'll, I'll update you. You know, I'm, I may not like DJI because of privacy issues, guys, but um, and, I, and I like this parrot because of the privacy issues that they allow you. But I still, you know, want a sound product myself. I'm just like you guys. I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, I'm a I do enjoy Parrot for that reason and the better video as far as no props being in it, um, being in your, your thing. But DJI again um, has been banned by the U.S. government, guys. This is a major, major thing there. According to the memo, the U.S. Army has sanctioned the use of DJI drones to drop bombs, for example, and as surveillance apparatus because, well, you're not going to drop bombs, right? This is the inverse.com, whatever that is. That, of course, they're not using the drones to drop a bomb, DJI products. So that, that's, just, that's just somebody being stupid. The, uh, but you can find it on the Pentagon's website also, which I did, and I was going to find it for you guys. And let's see if this is a better link for it. I'm using a different uh, search engine, China Tech. Um, China Tech. Who's China Tech? August 27, 2018. DJI. Make a DJI and induces privacy made mode after U.S. Army ban. Check that out. Dominant global drone maker launches privacy mode that lets users fly their drones without any data exchange with the pilot or the internet during flying. During flight. Tuesday, 3rd October. Okay. I've got to see this, guys. DJI, the world's largest recreational drones uh, maker has introduced a so-called local data mode, which will let users fly their device without any data exchange with the pilot in the internet during flight. During the flights, the new safety mode could stop internet traffic being accessed to and from its DJI pilot app, which is designed to provide an enhanced data privacy assurance for sensitive government and private corporate corporate customers. DJI said in the statement on Monday, the DJI pilot app. It's specifically, it's spe spe specifically for drones used under professional contacts. So only this application is limited to professional contacts. We are creating the local data mode to address the needs of all business customers, including public and private organizations that use DI, uh, DJI technology to perform sensitive operations around the world, said this person here, Vice President of Policy. The mode will provide added assurance for customers with heightened data security needs added to this person here. DJI currently commands a 70% share on the drone uh, market worldwide. That will stop spending, will stop sending or receiving any data over the internet, which the firm claims to add an extra layer of security for, oper for operators of flight involving critical infrastructure, government projects, or other sensitive missions. The new update could stop sharing information such as flight logs, location, photos, and videos to DJI company servers came after the U.S. Army in August ordered its members, its member organizations to stop using DJI, DJI drones due to possible security fears. The U.S. Army document has determined its users to cease uh, document, docu document has demanded its users to cease all use of uninstall and Cease all use, uninstall all DJI applications, remove all batteries, storage, media from devices, and secure equipment for follow-on directions. End quote, which cited increased awareness of cyber vulnerabilities associated with the DJI products, end quote, according to the reports in early August. So they said that, and the DJI's response is this one up here. Not that, oh, it's not true. It's not true. They're like, oh, well, we'll give you an extra level. So apparently, and as I always said to you guys, it is true. In September, the Australian Defense Force resumed 
the use of the DJI drone after a two-week suspension following the decision by its army saying it was, it was comfortable with resuming their use in unclassified situations, which means public data. Drones made by the base company have been uh, widely deployed by the U.S. Army, including special operations in Syria. The Australian Defense Force reportedly owns 40 DJI drones, which are used in military exercise. So guys, this here, this is just a, uh, a false um, way of giving false data. If I know you're watching me, I pretend like I'm using your product, and I keep using it, using it, and then all of a sudden, I know you can hack it, right? Anytime you want, you can see what I'm using. So I immediately, and I register your device, mind you, so you know where it's coming from. So as soon as I registered on the government use, the government of China, of course, is on top of it. So then I, I falsely show um, videos showing a, a, my strength force that's greater than what really is. I, uh, I hack into figuring out how to make my location look differently. I um, do things like that. I move the drone somewhere else to make it look like unit or, you know, division x ray Z is over here. In reality, it's just a drone I'm moving around. I'm not moving the division. So this could be a way to, to uh, get false data out there on purpose. This is also would be a nice deal. They also said in the statement that the drones will be unable to comply with the flight restrictions or mandated no-fly zones automatically after the new function is turned on, which explain why the local data mode is only open to professional users. So you see, guys, that they only this here, guys, that that they want to do the flight restrict. They want total total access to your data. Drone operations are solely responsible for the safety of their flight operations, so no longer warranty that help to uh, enhance the flight. Blah blah blah. Uh, last month, DJI stressed it would enhance its drone flying security in China through upgrading its geofencing technology, which helps users avoid cruising above restricted areas such as airports following the uh, stringent rules on drones regulations in China, including a compulsory real name registration for drones weighing more than 250 grams. So you can't even use a, they, you're going to find out one to one who's flying this drone, guys. Remember, they do reporting. And it's in China. Now, that's BS, guys, because you know we're not in China. We're flying this stuff in the U.S. or outside of China. So why are you geofencing outside of China? It's all data, guys. They're recording data. It's free mapping, if you will. You know, even though you got Google, well, you guys are giving free mapping to the Chinese government when you use their device. So you know what I say to that? You guys are silly, stupid idiots. How about that, all you DJI owners that don't get this and, and, and do not insist on this? And I know I'm, I'm, I'm trolling some of my own uh, subscribers, uh, but that's how I'm getting the point across. You know, if you guys know amygdala, you're going to have to take that on the chin. All right, and you can give it back. You guys can definitely give it back and tell me I don't have avoidance protection. And and, and I'll get back with saying, well, you don't have it either. You got it in forward and backwards mode. Hell, I, I haven't crashed anything going forward. Um, so that's not an issue. Um, you can see where you're going. I have crashed, you know, back then, even my car, you know, you're back into something. Backing up is terrible. Forward is the way to go, guys. And you don't need avoidance protection on your automobile. I definitely don't need it when I'm literally seeing which way I'm going. So that's my counter to that. And I'm going to keep this video short. I'm hanging up, and you guys heard the audio. Troll away, baby.